Hello YouTube, and welcome back. This is the 10 deck challenge series on the Fluffy Wolf 2 channel. I am Fluffy Wolf 2. You can find us live on Twitch, and if you're enjoying what you're seeing here and want more content, hit that subscribe and bell icon. That gets you it all for free. Enough of this, let's get to the deck this week. Teamer Scape Shift, or perhaps more lovingly called Rug Scape Shift. This one has a soft spot in my heart. This one comes to us from Kitty Man, 5 Modern League. And I wanted to try to stick as close to the true rug or teamer pattern as best as I could, avoiding things like Bring Delight and avoiding the red green Valakuts prime times and stuff like that. So we're going strictly rug here, red, blue, and green. So we're straight into teamer. We do have a random ravenous trap there on the side, but I'm not going to really worry about that one. Let's focus on the main deck here. We have ops and lightning bolts. With any scape shift deck, we are attempting to get our opponent to 18 life. 18 is good. And after we get them to 18, we need exactly seven lands, one Valakut and six mountains. So Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle, for those that are not aware, will trigger when there are five other mountains. And so you need the six, you have then Valakut, and they all trigger at the same time when you scape shift, which is sacrificing and getting lands. Doing that does three times <clears throat> six for 18 damage. That is the goal. We have some remands to get us to that six mana. We have Ice Fang Kotals in this list, which will be kind of cool. And we've had a little bit of exposure to those already um, from some of the other decks we've played. This one does have and features Narset, which will be interesting. I've never had Narset. I did play Rugscape Shift back when it was Dig Through Time and a few other things prior to some of the cards that have recently been printed. Cryptic Command is probably a mainstay in most teamer lists, so we'll definitely see how that plays out here as well. And finally, a Magmatic Sinkhole, kind of an interesting little include, but a way to kill some Planeswalkers or creatures. Sideboard's interesting. We're going to go ahead and go with the list because it's been doing decently recently. Uh, I am a little curious about the Weather the Storm, but we'll see when we bring those in, perhaps against Burn or other things. Otherwise, we have some Cages and Ravenous Trap to deal with the Graveyard. We have the Angers to sweep the board for multi-creatures. Negates, Dispels, and Force of Negation for those counter and control matchups. And a Kiora Crashing Wave as well. This one, probably, probably maybe a mid-range control. That is the deck. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. This one, this one's got a soft spot in my heart. <clears throat> Let's get to those matches. All right. Let us find an opponent. <clears throat> Playing some Teamer Rug Scape Shift in Modern. It was my first deck that I did play in Modern. <clears throat> so we'll see if we can remember how we played it back many years ago. We won the die roll, let's play first. Hand looks reasonable. I think we can keep this. We'll keep, we'll probably fetch shock and go opting and then secure a tri -Beldering. We just double glanced at the list real quick. It looks like we do have two mountains that are basic. We just wanna be aware that we have two snow covered mountains, four steam vents, four stomping grounds, putting us to a total of 10. 10 lands, something to just be aware of. <clears throat> 10 of the mountains. <clears throat> All right, Misty Rainforest, go opponent. Bloodstained Mire, Cracks Bloodstained Mire, going to probably be Faithless Looting or Thought Seizing. Those are pretty typical off of Bloodstained Mire. Blood Crypt here, Faithless Looting. All right, two Venge Vines. All right, well, we're gonna get a breeding pool 
and we're going to try to opt our way into this. Search for tomorrow is maybe worth it, but we're going to bottom looking just for lands instead. I like that bottom. All right. Play a Steve in here and pass the turn. Luckily for us, Steve actually blocks very well. And we know it's secure a tri builder, but he gets the Steve name. All right, so we hit a search for tomorrow. We can either cantrip or search for tomorrow. I think. I think I want to. Let's go ahead and shock and let's go ahead and do a search for tomorrow. We didn't crack Steve mainly because we didn't know we were gonna. Um, we didn't. Well, we didn't know what we were gonna draw, but also because we we're a little bit afraid of like a Vengevine just coming in, and this will save us four points of damage. We're not nearing a point where we can scape shift just yet. This is gonna go get blue. We have two of our mountains. And then this can get another blue, and then we'll have cryptic commands and jaces. Snow covered island. We will pass the turn. We are gonna leave him back. Our opponent is sub 18 life. So we look fine there. Neonate. I'm expecting two things to be played here. We might, oh gosh, another Vengevime. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, well, I'm kind of glad that I uh, do have Steve on the defense here. Blood Crypt, tap. So we're gonna take eight. Gonna take eight here. Go ahead and block. <laughs> All right, an extra island here. So we have an opt. Unfortunately, I don't really think I can opt. If I were to opt, I'm probably dead. So we're gonna have to unfortunately just try to cryptic tap team draw a card, see if we can't draw out somehow to this. We'll leave up stomping ground here and plan to lightning bolt them. Tap and draw. There we go. Narset. I don't believe there's a reason to bolt one of these. Though we could bolt and hope they don't have two creatures. The Leyline of the Void. It's an interesting card. Let's go ahead and bolt one of them. Their life total, like I said, doesn't really matter. So we have a search for tomorrow and Narset. So Wild can block one of these. I think I have to go ahead and opt here, see what we draw. There's another Wild, but I don't have two blue let's bottom this there's another opt four five six hmm it's not very good let's go ahead and pass back to my opponent we have two four five lands we really could use a little bit more than that we're gonna pass back Ice Fang to block. We'll use two mana here. We'll use these two, then I'll look to opt and maybe find a bolt to take care of another creature and get one more turn. 
Although if we get just Stitcher plus another creature here, this Avengevine's gonna come back. And I don't think we have an out there. So we can block, we'd have to kill, then they eat two things as well. Yeah, this one got away from us. There's the blood guest as well. All right. We would have bought him, drawn with the opt, drawn with the ice fang. All right, all right. Need a couple angers here, ravenous trap, fire spout maybe. Let's see here, the graph digger cages. What is not working? Magmatic sinkhole doesn't feel very good in this matchup. I feel like search for his contact could just take too long. One Narset probably can go out here. One Ice Fang, one Remand, two Remands probably. We're doing these creatures with Blaine, so we need to do red. I think Angers, Fire Spouts, Ravenous Trapping Cage is all very much worth it, especially getting rid of what we just did a little bit here and there. We want the removals like Lightning Bolt because we don't want them to just suddenly have a Hogak in play. So we're gonna leave that removal in. I think we don't have much time to play a Narset. We also probably don't have a lot of time to play a JC there. Okay. We'll keep this. <laughs> well, let's just uh, do cage and pass turn. All right. Maybe they have a way to kill a cage, but I got a backup. I got a backup. Don't thought seize me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, thought seize. What do they take? Fire spout? They take my cage. It's not a good sign for us. Let's go ahead and opt here. Let's bottom the remand. We're hitting a lot of our mountains already. We need another blue for Narset here. Blue to Delta. Cracks it. Green man is going to be scary here. Assassin's Trophy. Oh, Seder Wayfinder. And they kept the Bloodstained Mire. All right, let's just fire off Wild or uh, Ice Fang. Get a draw. That's a good one. Put Stomping Ground into play, tapped and passed back. Scariest thing here is a land into like Hogak. <laughs> The land would get blood gas back and then they'd uh, have Hogak. There's Hogak in the yard. Blood gas is coming back. Just kidding. Just kidding. Cage is in play. Thank goodness. They have another satyr here. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> so now they have enough to Hogak. Hmm. Not sure how we're getting rid of Hogak here. All right. We're going to pass turn. When it's at 12. Hmm. Shenanigans are cage. This will allow blood gas to come back. Faithless looting. Hmm. I think Hogak's gonna beat us up here. What do they drop into their graveyard here? What do you got, opponent? Another Hogak. There's a blood gas coming back. It's 
So this is 10 damage. I think I have to just let this go and hope that I draw a snow land. We hit Valakut. So I can do Fire Spout here and then take 10. The Bloodstained Mire means they get this Blood Gas back anyway. I guess we'll play to it. We'll play to it. By angering, I'm not really giving myself a chance to top deck a snow land. But I guess even when they attack here, it's not going to matter. <clears throat> I think we just got a little too far behind the Hogak. Teamer escape shift. Getting beat up by the graveyard. Oh yeah. I can block this and I take 10. Well, let's see what the top is. Oh, Steve. Steve, you're late to the party. <laughs> All right, Hogak takes this down. We're warmed up though. We're ready. We'll do it. Next match. See you there. All right, got a little beat up on our match one, but here we go for match two. Looking for our opponent. Playing some Teamer Escape Shift in Modern. We have found our opponent, Rodeo Jones. All right, Rodeo Jones. We're about to take you to the Rodeo. We get the draw. They have the play. We'll look for something with a little bit more mana in it. A little bit more mana. The Scape Shift deck is mana intensive. It does need to get further up than normal. I'll take this. Valakut's a bit of a bit of a hey, this is what we're doing. But we have a few remands to get us there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, maybe we won't get to use our remands. Mox Opal, Inventor's Fair, Nile Spellbomb. All right. We're going to go ahead and play our Valgut down and pass turn. We'll look to Misty Rainforest, and we might just search for his Kanta, since they haven't put any threats into play. Cage. I think our opponent does not want to play against Hogak. <laughs> that is for sure. All right. I know a few things my opponent could be could be hitting us with, but let's just get as Kanta into play. Pass turn. I feel like we've got the upper hand here. <clears throat> we'll let this yield. Now we do have to get a little bit more than we normally would because of Inventor's Fair. This might be Urza. It is okay. They have one card though. I have one card remaining. All right, Azkanta. Uh, we can put a scape shift in the yard for now. <laughs> okay. And we're just gonna pass back. This one's probably going to find just a basic, <clears throat> basic island. Inventor's Fair. Mountain, unknown card. Goblin Engineer. I'm gonna be playing this Kotal into draw us a card. Maybe that one was worth a remand, but they can just replay it. Looking for something scarier than that. Though we'll see. We'll see what uh, artifact they get. Sword of the Meek. Okay. This is what, four to activate? So they're gonna make some mana here using inventors. Okay. Wow, shuffle your library, then exile the top card. They found a, uh, <laughs> they found a 
Thopter Foundry. We'll go ahead and uh, counter that. Goodness me. Goodness gracious. All right, we'll take five here. Or six when I do the Misty here. Snow-covered island. We will be opting at end step. Uh, all right, I'll take the mountain. I would prefer blue. We'll see if Azkanta can help us here. A lightning bolt. Hmm. Do we bin lightning bolt? I think we have to. And we draw a search for tomorrow. So we can remand. We could remand and Kotal here by shock in. We won't have the snow lands online yet. I could also search for tomorrow, snap, put in the stomping ground. The Opter Foundry is going to happen. All right, we're going to shock in here. We're going to go ahead and go searching for tomorrow. We're going to go get an island. Kotal's going to block this huge construct, and then we're going to see if the cryptic command can buy us enough time to get something going. We are going to have an extra land here with search for Ascanta as well. Opponent's only at 21. We need just eight lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if we can't find it. We also might not bin with this to get us our eighth land. Nile spell, spell bomb. Sword comes back. Construct gets bigger. We just need them not to have a way to kill this. We're drawing off of this as well. Thopter Foundry. Sword combo. I guess they can go infinite here, can't they? Mm, yes. So they can just go infinite here and then put us out of range of our scape shift. Yes. All right, we're going to concede. My opponent's shown me the loop. They can do this just to be outside of scape shift range. We're going to hit an opt off our wild. We're going to bend secure tri builder. We're going to hit our land. We were there, just they were able to get their combo going. All right, force of negation, negate, all seem good here. Ravenous trap could be a thing. I feel like the lightning bolts don't do enough. What else? Boy, how moderns change since we last played this. A couple of braids make sense here. Much better than probably these lightning bolts as well. A lot of artifacts to kill. I don't think I don't think I want a ravenous trap. I'm not gonna worry about the cage. I don't think it's gonna use full for anything else in their deck. All right, one land. We can't keep this mulligan. This is much better. We'll keep this. We're gonna get rid of. Um, whew, I don't know what we get rid of. We could get rid of maybe a secure a tri builder. Although Ice Fang maybe doesn't do enough for us. Let's get rid of Ice Fang and then just ramp out with the secure tri builders. <laughs> All right, land go. Land go. There you go. Let's go, opponent. Look at this opt. Crazy flying things in the background. Alright, Radio Jones. A breeding pool. Untapped. Chromatic star. 
Interesting start from our opponent. Go ahead and opt. I'm gonna bottom a mountain. Hmm. We drew a land anyway. All right, plan is to play a secure tribe elder here. Opponent's already at 18. Luckily we have this, so we can play Steve out. And we'll probably be cracking Steve at their end step so that we have the extra land. We have the lands. We pretty much just need to find scape shift and a couple of lands along the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we really don't need any more lands. We actually just need scape shift. Your move, opponent. Mox Opal. Maybe they drew that. Polluted Delta. Cracks Polluted Delta. Life total is dropping rapidly. Chromatic Star again. A lot of, a lot of cantrips. Red Black. Cracks Chromatic Star does a draw. Has red. What do you got over there? Goblin Engineer. So with Goblin Engineer, they can go put one of the, so the sword in. Okay, Sword of the Meek. You might just get quick comboed out here. Let's get island the opt let's start there don't need that bottom oh my goodness we're getting flooded so bad so bad all right let's see if they can start making <clears throat> some thopters if they can then we're gonna need all the lands we can get here we go. It's interesting because the engineer, they can just go get the sword of the meek. Or they can go get Thopter Foundry. I like the combination there. All right, snow covered island. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get my land. We're gonna go get a forest at this point. So many lands, so many lands. We'll play a land past turn. We're getting, uh, getting hard flooded here. Hmm. I don't have a lot to stop this, unfortunately. And I think if they were to get Urza here, we just lose. No Urza, it appears. But we're gonna need a lot more damage to kill them now. We're at 18. Star. So they can just use Thopter Foundry to sack the star to draw and to the Sword of the Meek. Oh my goodness, deck, please. Find me something, Opt. Please. Not lands. All right, I'll, I'll take a cryptic. Go ahead, opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine lands. which would be plenty. Plenty to kill them. We gotta counter Urza here, probably. Makes a bunch of Thopters. There go. Land. Shocks it in. All right. Hits for a little bit here. We're just gonna take this for this turn. 
I'm gonna leave Cryptic up as long as I can. Being able to play Scapeshift and have Cryptic back up wouldn't be bad. I'm gonna search for tomorrow. One, two, three. Let's cast. Cast, please. Maybe it'll cast, maybe it won't. There we go. We'll get a forest. Forest, please, thank you. All right, opponent, what do you got for us? Looks like they're gonna make a lot more with the Thopter Foundry here. Let's go ahead and yield to this. Let's yield to Sword of the Meek as well. For having three ops and having bottoms, I think just about every land we've seen, we've seen quite a few lands. Might lose. Hmm. I don't like losing this way though. I didn't get any spells. I just had Steve. Steve was here for the party. Yes, he was. Sword meat combo. They're only at 25 life. We can still do a lot with Scape Shift. We just need to actually draw it. Astrolab. Astrolab. Hmm. Supposed to not die. Let's go ahead and return return just this token. It's the same effect as tap draw unless they have a bolt. Okay. So we're going to one. <laughs> Pretty much the same effect here. Let's go ahead and opt. Come on, find me something opt. Not that, bottom. Hmm. Well, if I top a scape shift, we have a counter spell. Come on. Come on. One time. Not a land. Scape shift. Right here. By the way, we got all four of our ops. Come on. I believe in it. No. This doesn't do it. All right, opponent, you got us. Opponent got us. Where were our cards? Oh, it's two down. Never look, never look, chat. All right, that one was a bit of a rough one. Maybe we can spring back here in matches to come. We'll see you guys in the next match. All right, playing some Teamer Escape Shift. Getting, getting ourselves Absolutely smashed so far. Getting that smashed. Is it the matchups? Probably the player. All right. We're gonna play first. <laughs> this is like a mold of Ford. That's a lot of escape ships. These were these were needed last match. Let's mulligan this. All right, we have an opt. We have a stomping ground. I'm gonna keep this, get rid of a bolt. There's a lot that doesn't really work for this. We're gonna go ahead and shock in here and pass turn with the lightning bolt. <clears throat> Maybe we can get something going, bolting a bird or bolting, I don't know, a creature from our opponent. We will see. Temple Garden. Noble Hierarch. There you go. Bolt the bird. All right. There we go. Now we have double opt. 
Surely we can get something going from here. Surely we can get something going from here. Alright. So we have a Noble Hierarch again. I think I actually just want to double opt here. They did put the Breeding Pool into play. Tapped. So, op number one. I will take a land. Op number two. I will not take this. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Play our land. Pass turn. Now we have remand up. And then we can remand and maybe draw another opt. Okay. So we got green white value town across from us. We will happily remand that. Leave red, red green open. Hmm, hex drinker. Hex drinker's pretty good. Play snow covered forest. We have the ability to cryptic and we can ice fang if we want. Ice fang will not have it will not have, oh boy. Protection from instance. How far do I want this to go? I could bounce it right now. You know what? I'm kind of okay to bounce this right now. We'll just return target permanent and draw a card. They've kind of dumped some mana into this. They'll probably just replay it, which is fine. Which is a-okay with me. Play our Misty out and pass. Now we have Remand and Ice Fang. This won't have protection from Ice Fang here, and that's always a good thing. To Fairy, well, to Fairy, we can we can counter you. X Drinker going up. It's a four four. I hope they swing in here. Oh, they do. They do. Let's go get a Snow Island. Let's make green blue here. And in comes the Codal with Death Touch. Block, block, kill, kill. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, we don't need you, Steve. I'll put you on bottom. We'll search for tomorrow. Get an island. We will play our forest untapped and kind of represent, we'll go ahead and represent good stuff here. All right, there's Teferi. I can't play things at instant speed now. We don't really have anything for them to bounce. Ranger. Ranger's gonna go get a Hex Drinker, I'm guessing? What's interesting is they can play Hex Drinker and then one, two, three, four, five. Five would give it protection from instance. Interesting. Do they sack this on our turn? They yeah, got interesting little shenanigans going on across from us. They do. So we'll just play our land tapped, pass turn. We're drawing a lot of our mountains. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. All right, there's Hex Drinker. One, two, three, four, five. We going up to seven. Upticking to Fairy. This is gonna have five counters on it. Okay. Search for tomorrow. I actually don't wanna get any more lands out because they're mountains at this point. Um, 
What are we bolting here? So this will take two here. I guess I'll go ahead and bolt Noble Hierarch. We just need Scape Shift now. Up goes Hex Drinker. Six, seven, probably to eight to give it protection from everything. All right, we're gonna get hit for a six, six. At least it's three turns, so we have two turns to draw something. And a Voice of Resurgence. That's pretty good. That's pretty good too. I can hold this stomping ground here. So one, two, just float all the manas. Escape shift time. So Valakut, Valakut, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can get rid of one more. Gotta, gotta click these correctly. There we go. All right, we were gonna go fetch a few Valakuts and then the remaining mountains, we'll have plenty. And then we can play one more mountain as well. And we can begin sideboarding. We would probably wanna leave one green up so that we could get an extra mountain off the search for tomorrow as well if we wanted to. All right, Angers and Fire Spouts seem good. Um, man, we have to kill the Hex Drinker. We have to do it before we kill anything. This doesn't really stop it either. Maybe a braids, but they're not really artifacts. This would be getting rid of nobles or the ranger. They were not just green white, they were Essentially bant, so negate and force negation might be worth it. Ice Fang did do work there. Let's get rid of a scape shift here. Let's get rid of Let's get rid of a remand. Let's not do force negation or negate. We're gonna do those and bring in some angers. I think I could honestly get rid of like a search for tomorrow as well. One thing we're kind of missing, which is interesting is we have the ice fangs instead of something like a snapcaster, but maybe snapcaster remand really isn't doing a lot in the meta right now. All right, I guess anger doesn't even kill hex drinker if it gets enough of its level up counters. All right, well, I like this. This is this is a good hand. Let's keep this. We can search for tomorrow or we can bolt the bird. No need to bolt the bird. So we'll just snow cover forest, suspend search for tomorrow and pass turn. By doing it this way, I don't get to bolt and opt. Maybe an oversight. All right, fetch, fetch. Temple Garden plus maybe Breeding Pool? Breeding Pool. These are hard to tell apart. Hex Drinker. Down tick search for tomorrow. Let us go ahead and just bolt Hex Drinker here and pass back. We'll get our search for tomorrow this next turn. Opponent has four mana. We have no responses currently. Hopefully we can use sinkhole here <clears throat> to hit something really important. Worship. All right. Not perhaps the worst thing. We'll cast search for tomorrow. We're gonna go get an island. We have double green already. We'll play another search for tomorrow. Go get another island. Let's go ahead and opt. Bottom Steve, we don't need him. There's a cryptic. We'll put 
this into play tapped and pass turn. So on the turn that we get to scape shift, we have to cryptic this away. There's Ashiok. That's not a good thing for us. Let's see what they mill. Oh, they don't they don't want to mill at all. Okay. Well then we'll just magmatic here. One let's kill Ashiok. It's an important card. We don't have a, a, a um, we don't have Snapcaster, so I can just delve my entire graveyard there. All right, we have Cryptic and we have Remand. Opponent's down to three cards. I'm thinking they have something like Negate. Are they gonna attack for one? The answer's no. Okay. Well, we'll just pass back. We have some action in our hand now, which is always good. We have some action. Okay, we'll just play Kotal. Nothing wrong with just simply attacking our opponent. The Spell Queller. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and remand the Spell Queller. We'll deal with Spell Queller a little bit later. Jace is a good draw. Balakut. Narset. Well, let's start with Jace. Ooh, Dovin's Veto. All right. I will follow this up with a Narset. Down tick. I guess I'll take Anger, <laughs> Valakut, and I'm going to go ahead and swing here. If they drop another Noble, then we don't get to do the whole Narset thing again. I'm planning to cash Narset in if they attack anyway. We're using Narset as a draw too, just a deeper draw too. By the way, it was good to get past all the lands. Let's look deeper here. There's another Narset and a Lightning Bolt. Let's just take another Narset here. And try to play our Narset. Let's go ahead and counter. Let's counter and return worship here. Let's see if we can get this to happen. Another Dovin's Veto. All right. Well, I don't mind attacking. We're going to be angering next turn. Hex Drinker. One, two, goodness, this is gonna get big enough. Blech, blech, blech. This with protection from everything, that's a problem. Just gotta somehow get rid of the worship over there. All right. Let's go ahead and attack for one in the air before we do anything. There's a one in the air. Let's go ahead and anger the gods. We get our Narset back. Let's look at the top four. Get a search for tomorrow. We'll cast. Go get another land. We'll search for his Kanta. I'm going to hold this land here, just as one last thing. I'll be curious where they go here with their 6-6. Six, six. Do they care about Narset enough? They do. Okay. Search for Iskanta. is going to get to flip here. I'm going to put Remand into the graveyard, and we'll flip. It's their scapeshift. 
It says protection from everything. We need to get rid of worship to win. Let's go ahead and take a look at some cards here. There's an anger. I don't need an anger. I think we're gonna try to use as much mana as possible here, so we gotta play the stomping ground into play. We're gonna get hit for six here. Luckily we get a couple looks here with Azkanta. Maybe we'll find an answer. That is at least the hope. I wouldn't tap out, opponent. Voice of Resurgence. All right, let's look deeper here. Couple ops. Let's uh, fire an opt off here. Bottom Misty. Man, just not happening. We will anger. I'm gonna go ahead and put the land into play. We actually don't need a lot of lands here to win. We just need a way to bounce worship this turn and no counter from my opponent. My goodness. Let's look deeper. Where's my cryptics? There's a scape shift. It has protection from everything. Wow, I'm surprised we got through that many cards and didn't see one of our other two scape shifts. Or one of our other two options. Let's go ahead and float a ton of mana here. We actually can't even scape shift twice. It's kind of funny. I don't have enough forests. I'll just say okay to that. Valakut, steam, stomping, stomping, snow, breeding pool, flooded. Nope, nope, nope. I'm kind of curious what it would do if we target. See, we can't target. Here, we'll target ourselves, too. Throw one in there. All right. Well, then. Can't quite beat them. Couldn't find a way to get rid of a worship. <clears throat> you got us, opponent. All right. Let's sideboard. Hmm. Do we have a way to get rid of worship easily? The answer is no, actually. We could negate it or try to remand it before it hits. I think a remand might not be a bad idea to bring back in here. We want to keep all of our cryptics. That's how we get rid of worship if it were to land. Lightning Bolt just doesn't seem like it's doing a lot for us. Let's take one Lightning Bolt out and get a Remand in here. We have to be careful of, um, I guess, Ashiok too. The Force of Negation might be worth it. Alright. We're going to keep this because I get to search. And maybe we'll get something crazy going with Steve and all these ops. Suspended. Your turn, opponent. R R Misty Rainforest. Our turn. Search for Tamaro. Down a tick. Lightning Bolt. We'll pass turn here. So we're going to get an island. So we're going to get to Tribelter. And then we're going to get to Opt. Got a couple Ops coming up here. Celestial Colonnade Tap. We are against the same opponent, right? <laughs> this is a bit of a different one. Let's cast a search for tomorrow. Go get ourselves an island. We draw cryptic. Let's opt first. This could actually be pretty useful. 
Let's put that on top and we will Steve here and pass back. A little worrisome about what's gonna show up here on three and four. Rising Canopy to Fairy. Fairy just goes up here. I think I'm gonna leave Sakura Tribelder around. I might just try to bolt this. They are at 18. Let's attack to Fairy and see what we get with maybe an opt here. A remand. We can bottom that because we can't counter anymore. Let's play Secure Tribelder number two. And let's actually go ahead and bolt to Fairy. We'll threaten that we can actually kill it next turn with two Tribelders. Scary thing here is that they could just queller us in combat. And we can't really respond in combat because Teferi is Teferi's a jerk. That remand is useless. Well, I like attacking Teferi here. If we don't get through to him, then I'm just sacking two of these guys. Or I'll sack whichever one this is jumping in front of. Okay, they just have two of them. So we're gonna go ahead and sack. We know they're blocking these. Make sure I get a forest here as well. We have to do everything at instant speed. Or, uh, sorry, sorcery speed. Go ahead and opt here. It's bottom. I'm gonna play search for his Kanta here. We can flip this, it becomes a land, and it can help us find scape shift. Maybe we won't be flipping because of Field of Ruin. That's a really nice top deck. Man, Teferi is, is a beating for this. Because if I were to try to scape shift as well, Teferi is just there. I am going to probably flip this though. Oh gosh, it's scape shift. Let's say no. Let's transform. Let's use this. Find a Narset and a Remand. Let's take the Narset here. And we'll try to Narset, although I think this is getting a counter. Okay. Fielding my search for Ezkanta. Go get a land. Basic Forest. Surely my opponent's got more counters here. Yep. All right, I can't do anything about Spell Queller. We will pass the turn back. I need them to be tapped out. I can't even at end step try to bounce Teferi. I just have no way to interact with Teferi. No easy way. Go ahead and draw a card. I can't even remand my own Codal. Okay. Let's leave Codal here. Maybe they don't try to bounce it with Teferi. I think this coming turn I'm going to have to try to bounce Teferi. I just don't see it happening, unfortunately, though. Get another island here. Hmm. 
This feels so silly compared to the first two games. This is just vastly different. Okay. Do they have just like a force of negation? What if I were to go ahead, I think I can, let's do this. Let's balance one of these and then second main phase go for it. So let's return colonnade to hand and draw a card. I'm expecting this to be vetoed. We're gonna go for it. We might have it here. They decided to try to protect Hex Drinker, but I think that was a mistake. Do we have it? All right, they float mana. I would like to go to second main phase, please. Yes, yes. I can't respond to the Teferi anyway because of Teferi, so we'll just scape shift. Do I get it? Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, good line, good line. They shouldn't have worried about protecting Hex Drinker. They can leave it as a two one. I mean, they have so much going on here, and I'm sure they have two counters or so. No reason to tap out close. They left up something that looked like Dovin's Veto that we saw in game two. So, got lucky there. Took one. We got a win, though. We'll see you guys in the next match. All right. Match four. It's been a it's been an interesting path so far. I, I I don't mind how we've played it thus far. As previously mentioned, one thing we're missing is Snapcaster, and I definitely could see where we could have used Snapcaster once or twice, and it would have been pretty good. But Ice Fang's helping us dig, so we've got that going for us as well. Got both of those things going for us. All right, we have found an opponent. Let's play some magic. I would love to go first. Oh boy, that's a lot of bolts. It's a lot of bolts, but one land. We're gonna have to mulligan this. All right, this is a lot better. We'll keep this. I'm gonna put this snow covered mountain to the bottom. Hopefully this opt can draw us into something. We'll breeding pool probably, unless we have to kill something. Though we do have the steam vents, so we're probably not needing to immediately here. Bloodstain Mire for our new opponent. Overgrown Tomb. Thought seeds would be a little bit rough here. We'll allow Inquisition to resolve. They're taking Opt or Lightning Bolt. You could arguably trade this in for... four mana spell. They actually take the Lightning Bolt. So we'll fetch Breeding Pool. And we'll go ahead and Opt. Put a land on top, we do need lands. A, a search for his content looks good. We'll shock in here and play that. Pass back to our lovely opponent over there. All right, opponent, what do you got? We can Magmatic Sinkhole next turn without too much of a problem. It's a good reason to have Sinkhole when you don't play Snapcaster. You don't have to worry about your, your graveyard so much. We will F6 here. 
opponent has forest and overgrown tomb here. A Tarmogoyf. Okay. Search for Skanta shows us a scape shift. I think we're going to go ahead and put that in the graveyard for right now. Put a stomping ground in tapped. I think we'll just go ahead and magmatic here. Use up as much as we can. And pass the turn back. It'll shrink a future Goyf. Actually, it doesn't really shrink him. Hopefully this isn't Liliana. This obviously slows down our search for Iskanta. But we'll worry about that later. We haven't seen red just yet. A lot of green and black. So maybe they're just green, black, rock. Liliana will pitch search or Misty here. We want to we want to try to hit this Jace. We're gonna have two looks at a land. Search finds a Valakut. Wow, the worst land. We'll go ahead and put that in the graveyard. Escape shift, pass turn. <laughs> Oh, escape shift. Inquisitions. Nothing to take here. Don't have thought sees, please. All right. We will discard escape shift. That does put us on one less, one last escape shift. No, we have four escape shifts. Sorry, we have two. We have two remaining. Hmm. <laughs> please don't thought sees me. All right. Goif. Unknown card. We will keep that, thank goodness. All right, let's go fetch. Probably go fetch another breeding pool. Oh, we don't have two in this list, Never mind. We'll get an island, and we will jace. I kind of hate down ticking, but I think that makes sense. If we uptick, we just lose jace pretty easily. I know he goes to five. Liliana takes whatever card we brainstorm. So I like the Jace down tick here. They can replay Tarmogoyf up tick and then they have one less. This is almost at six. This is going to be interesting. Three, four, five. This needs seven, right? Yeah, it needs seven. So they discard a, they discard a Bloodbraid Elf. So they do have, they do have some stuff. Search for Skanta finds a scape shift. I need to bin that. Cryptic's a good draw. On their on their drawer upkeep here, we're gonna tap in and do this. So stop on their upkeep. Let's go ahead and brainstorm. Let's put We can put these two back and fetch them away. Yeah, let's do that. Go ahead and fetch. Get an island. And let's pass to their upkeep where we will tap team and bounce Lily. Return Lily, tap creatures. We get to use Jace again, it looks like. Hopefully, if they wanna put Lily back in, they've gotta do it in, probably now. We have two, four, five, six cards. Although we only have one scape shift left in the deck. So we'll just hope it's not in the bottom half. Feels bad to have had to bottom those scape shifts. Or not bottom, graveyard them. All right, opponent, what did you draw? 
what do they have like land and then they've got a Liliana uptick besides the scavenging news our graveyard doesn't matter too much here we do get to flip search for his Kanta do I want to bin that one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and bin that and flip. Okay. Either way, we die here, so let's brainstorm. Hmm. Let's put Valakut and Snowy Forest back. We'll go ahead and search for tomorrow. We'll leave probably remand open here. We'll get another island. So we can remand Liliana. They might just eat like a Tarmogoyf here. Make a 3-3 three, three ooze. And then they could eat two more things as well. Make it a 5-5 five, five, and we're looking at we're looking at a lot of damage. Our opponent is Jun, though. Blood Braid Elf confirmed that. So we're gonna kill Jason probably four to me. Okay, they go a little little higher here. Four to Jace. Six. We have seven. I just need to find my scape shift. Is it smarter to remand this or is it smarter to dig? It's probably smarter to dig. Digging goes further. Digging goes further. We're just about dead on board too. Each player discards a card. Let's go ahead and search. Come on, scape shift. There's a Narset. Three cards at the bottom. We'll get rid of this remand. How far does Narsa go here? Four cards. This is this is four cards as well. So one, two, three. Then we don't have to tap this. So it's Narsa down tick and and hope. <laughs> Scape shift, please. And the opt. I'll take the opt. We'll pass back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thought seizes. Let's go ahead and opt in response. Bottom. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. Hmm, this looks like a loss. Looks like a loss. Eat two things. Steve actually loses it for us because it keeps a creature in the graveyard. Bummer. <laughs> Steve, you lost it for us. They hit us for 10. Oh, they hit us for 10. Okay. Force of Negation seems like a winner here. Am I supposed to be trying these Weather the Storms? I feel like Jun just plays one to two things a turn. Negate's probably worthwhile in this matchup. Remands are good. I'm just not impressed with the Ice Fang. I mean, Ice Fang, I guess, blocks. Isn't that what pretty much Steve does? I don't want to take a scape shift out based on how our luck went, but I think I will. One more negate. I'm not going to worry about the removal. A lot of their creatures are bigger than three once they do hit. So we'll just rely on bolts and tempo here for Jund. Bolts and Tempo. Of course I would like to play first. We have to mulligan this. We don't have any blue. 
All right. We'll keep this. We might we might send um, a mountain to the bottom. We're gonna shuffle it back in here in a moment. See if we can't get something going here with summer mans and some uh, cryptics. We're maybe a little ways away from the cryptic because we don't have any other blue in our hand. Don't thought seize me, please. Probably likely though. Ooh. No thought seize. All right. Breeding pool tapped. Another cryptic is nice if we can hit our blue sources. We'll see if remand can get us something here. We are going to remand whatever they play. Just looking to kind of tempo out our opponent. Okay. Not a bad card. We are going to go ahead and play the Azkanta. Pass turn. Another blue source would be nice. Then we could play Jace. This might be Liliana here. In which case... Oh. Okay. Maelstrom Pulse. Alright. Hmm. Mm, I'm bottom this. It's not a blue. Let's bottom it. Hey, we hit a blue. All right. Let's go ahead and pass to their turn. Thankfully, we hit that blue. All right. Are we going to be looking at a couple Bloodbraid Elves? Looks like it. Bloodbraid Elf number one with a Liliana. That's pretty good stuff so we're gonna go ahead and discard looks like we're probably gonna discard a cryptic here because it's not castable go ahead and play ice fang after we've taken our damage here draw the card maybe we'll hit a bolt we do not no blocks here. Not this time. Alright. So we do have cryptic mana. I think cryptic mana might be worth holding up here. Although I could see where Jace would be valuable. Hmm. Maybe we attempt Jace here. And draw some attention to Jace. Let's draw some attention to Jace here. We'll go ahead and draw some cards. We will put a stomping ground back. And then a wild the the codal ice fang codal. Alright. I think if they tick up, I might just opt. And see what's under the. Well, under is the the land. Each player discards a card. We could just simply discard the opt with the idea that I don't need to draw that land. We can shuffle some things away with search. Oh boy, bonus blood braid, and a fulminator. Oh my gosh, now I kind of need the land. So three at three at Jace. Three at me. Now I gotta defend probably. Thankfully I have a Let's cast this. Thankfully I'll have two blockers. I say that, but well, my two blockers will be Death Touch, because there'll be snow creatures and there will be one, two, and the other Kotal. So there is that. <clears throat> Darn. We have to sacrifice. Darn. <laughs> well, I'm not going to let you take this little guy. Not going to let you take him. All 
All right, nothing for my opponent to take. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I don't think I can go to three. Oh, they thought sees me here too. I don't want to go to three. And a Tarmogoyf, oh boy. Let's opt the bottom. Yeah, that's gonna do it. I got nothing. All right, you got it, opponent. Dang. Jun just kind of runs over us. Jun just kind of runs over us. We don't have a lot of tempo with this teamer list. It's it's just really struggling. All right, let's see if we can salvage a lead, get one more win here at the end. I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, let's find an opponent. Match five, let's redeem something from this. Let's redeem something from this league. This one's been, this one's been a little bit rough. All right, we found our opponent. Let's see if we can smash our opponent here. We're gonna play first. All right, I'll keep it. It's not very inviting. Not very inviting. This not being a breeding pool just hurt us a lot. All right, Snow Covered Island. Opponent has no idea what we're playing. Pass the turn back. Opponent did mull the six. Ooh, right, humans? Our remand just got worse. Noble. Okay. All right, we have the scape shift. My opponent's going to be at 20 life, and that's gonna mean we have to somehow do three to them, or we need an extra land for scape shift. We don't really need to hold up this remand. We might go find something for magmatic to uh, use, like, a basic mountain off search for tomorrow. Humans though, we'll see how this one works out for us. Blue, white. Meddling mage, naming what, scape shift? <laughs> Could name primeval titan, name scape shift. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Get an island here. We got all the islands we need. We'll go get probably just a forest here. Play our island. So we have remand up, although I don't think I'm gonna get to use it here. Notably, my opponent did miss a land drop. So that's got something going our way. Mantis Rider appears. Can't be countered. I suppose I could counter it to help with the sinkhole. One, two, three, four, five. This will be six. This will be seven. I think I just tag this right now. And if we spike the land off the top, then we'll be good. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. I need eight lands to win. Don't have another medley mage. Don't do it to me. White and blue. <sighs> I got nothing for you, opponent. I'm gonna hit four. Maybe I'm supposed to hold. Maybe I'm supposed to hold. Another island. Land. Pass turn. We're gonna hit for five. So we have everything. We just need to kill this next medley mage. So maybe this magmatic 
sinkhole was played way too early. I should have waited on it. Thali is lieutenant. I still can remand. Ooh. Ooh. It's a good remand. Mm, we might steal one here. Yeah, come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna take this guy out. Okay. This is looking good. One, two, three. Let's just make sure we have enough lands here. Then make some green. Oh my goodness, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Escape ship. Four, five, six, seven. Say okay to that. We can get two Valakuts. Make sure those highlight. Some steam vents. Some stomping grounds. Just say no to all this, and that should be plenty. Got it. We got one. There we go. And we have a good sideboard for this match. Feeling good. All right. And our opponent's going to make us click all these. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. Angers, Fire Spout, Abrades are going to come in here. Remands are interesting, but I'm going to take those out. And I think, bring these four in. I think I just want to get rid of maybe just like one cryptic or maybe Jace. Let's get rid of a Jace for another removal. All right, I like what we have here for this matchup. I don't feel like humans should be too difficult. Famous last words. Famous last words. Let's salvage this league. We got this. I believe. Yeah. All right. Tribe Elder. One a braid. All right. I'm going to keep it. We have a, essentially a ripple. R r <laughs> We have a spell that boosts our mana. <laughs> I'm gonna play Valakut in first here. We don't need Scape Shift. Can worry about that card a long time from now. All right, so we have a few options here. We can probably just fetch Basic. We might be just trying to kill the Champion of the Parish just to slow him down some. You know what? Let's just play out Steve. Steve, and then we can worry about Jace. We have the Abrade. I don't know what Abrade's gonna hit. Maybe it's supposed to hit this champion before the champion gets too large here. Blue, red, white. That would be a Mantis Rider. Okay. We can abrade Mantis Rider. Obviously, Champion's going to get pretty big. Block. Let's go ahead and sack. Go get our island. I suppose we could play Jason Bounce Champion just as a tempo play. Okay, let's go ahead and search for tomorrow. We'll go get a basic island. We're going to shock in here. And before we do anything else, let's go ahead and deal three to Mantis Rider and pass it back here. So we're going to play Jace as a tempo play. That is the plan here. 
They don't seem to have any one drops. All right, humans. Do we have you? Do we have you, humans? Thalia's lieutenant would be a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying, but not too bad. Four, four. Freebooter is the worst card probably for us to see. We don't want a freebooter. I'll take four. Looks good. You got me, opponent. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Copying Thalia's lieutenant is going to make this now a 6-6. Six, six. Woo! That's big. Ready? All right. Let's play Jace. One, two, three, four, five. We have to bounce. Play Steam Vents. So we have six out. If they somehow use their Horizon Canopy here, we have a shot at it. If this goes up to three, ooh, okay. I was gonna say, if it goes up to three and they just Mantis Rider us, we just lose as well. Makes blue, makes white. Took the damage. Do they have a meddling mage? Actually, uh, Thalia's lieutenant wins here, doesn't it? Pluses everything twice. Five and three. That would do it. Untapping. We are literally a turn away from doing great things here. Looks like I have Bolt open. Four, five. So this is six damage. Dang. Let's go ahead and fake it right here. All right, they hit us for 10. Just needed the one more turn. All right, we're gonna go to game three against our lovely human player. <clears throat> Going to game three. If we would have Jace brainstormed, we'd have the bolt, but they would have had the champion. So can't do that. Okay, uh, I think we're running it back. We have lots of removal. I would love to play first. All right, I'm gonna keep it. We have a lot of our mountains. We're gonna play Valakut and Tapped. Obviously we can't kill anything here, but we're probably going to be holding up to kill a Thalium. And then we can anger some stuff too. Just gotta be careful this champion doesn't get out of range. Play the mountain in past turn. All right. Let's see what we can do here. If it's just meddling mage, I just don't fire anything off. I think if it's even Thalia's lieutenant, I don't even bother. It's Thalia Guardian, then I will fire something off. Just an Aether Vial. Just an Aether Vial. Might fire nothing off here. Yeah. Let's put that into play. <clears throat> All right, so this should almost guarantee we're going to hit our land. That's at least the hope. Scariest thing about the Aether Vial is that they get to play things that are end step and then attack, and our angers are sorcery speed. 
<clears throat> green mana. Noble Hierarch. Immediately taps white behind this. Vile. Probably with the Exalted trigger on the stack, I can go ahead and, and try to kill this. I could also bait something in here with this bolt. Do I want to do that? Yeah, let's go for it. See if we can bait one more thing in. Oh, never mind. I don't mind not taking three. <laughs> Um, let's say no to this. I'm going to cast this opt. I think I feel pretty confident. That digs me a little bit deeper. Bottom tribelder. Okay. I would really like green or blue at this point. Green or blue. We'll just F6 here. I mean, I'm not too worried about them maybe playing like a Thalia Guardian and they freebooter us and then we just anger the board. That feels really good. But I'd like to get Steve down. Do something. Unclaimed territory here. Okay, Aether Vial. Oriok Champion's pretty good. Oriok Champion's pretty good. Protection from our Angers. What else do you have, opponent? Trying again. Green White again. Gaddock Teague. That's, that's fine. Fine by us. White. Just kidding. Blue, white. Meddling Mage. Don't name Anger. Don't do it. Name Scape Shift. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That was about to be real bad. All right, search for Zakanta. Come on, green land, blue land. I'm gonna say no. That way I have it in case they do have something, another meddling mage. Right now it can only hit things without flying. <laughs> Which is fine. Until they get a Mantis Rider. This diversifies our sweeper effects though. And I, I do like that. Opponent's got two cards in hand. I need to really get the search for his count to doing something for us, though. One breeding pool would be fantastic right now. Flooded Grove, Misty Rainforces. Oh, goodness, we can't hit this Mantis Rider. It's flying. <laughs> we can't hit it. It's flying. I might just have to snap off another Anger here. I don't think I can take three in the air a bunch. All right, search for Skanta. No, I do not want to put that in the the bin. Perfect. Freebooter here. It's got to be Freebooter. Yes, we got him. We get to Anger or Fire Spout him, and we got the green mana. Mm. It's coming together like a champion. What do they take? Doesn't matter. Your creatures are dying. They take the anger, then I can only fire spout. I can't get Tribe Elder down. So that would be maybe something to do. So now we just need to win from here. And we're we're in a good spot. Oriarch Champion. It hurts. Nice. Okay, they saw the line. They saw the line. I respect that. We are definitely shocking in though. A little bit of red, a little bit of green. Red, green, got both colors. All right, 
Tribelder could keep Oriarc Champion at bay. It is pro black and red, not green. Okay, opponent. We can also cryptic it away if we want at some point. Because we should have cryptic here soon. I respect my opponent just hard casting. Alright, a little changeling. We're not planning to target anything. Deal one to me. That's Kanta. Um, one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and bin it. Ooh, a braid's really good. Let's try Belder here. I can then a braid and pay for it, and we can block. Then this should flip as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. It's looking good. It's looking good. We do need a, a couple more lands. Just a couple. Another Aether Vial. They just attack with this guy. I, th I think I just block. Maybe use the abrade at a later date. Get an island. We're getting an island for cryptic. We do know that this will probably be flipping here soon. We don't have double green. Let's say no. Actually, I kind of like this card. All right, we can play at instant speed finally. Opponent has Aether Vials Galore. Let's see if they'll set that last one on one here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and yield to these. I imagine they're now on 3 2 1. So our Cryptic is useless. Land has been played. Let's see how they want to do this. Swing with both. Yeah. Alright, we're going to play Ice Fang out here. They gain a life, but we're going to get to kill this. We get a cryptic. And I'm going to abrade the other thing away, I think. We can always cryptic bounce some stuff in the future. We're just looking to get our last lands, maybe through search. Keep our life total nice and high. Let's get that scape shift. Let's get that last green source. Come on. Oh uh, no, I'll I will I will keep Jace. I think Jace can help us win game. <laughs> Let's draw. We'll keep Ice Fang here. Ice Fang's a good blocker for Mantis Rider. Draws us a card as well. We're going to get that last land that we need. Whew. Feel like we're in command. What do you got for me, opponent? Nothing. Nothing. We'll just flash this little dude in. There's the search. There's the green mana. Let's do... Let's draw first. These are new cards below this. We can put Valakut back. I don't need a bolt. I might need a bolt. Let's put back a cryptic as well. Let's cast a search for tomorrow. Let's go get an island. I'm gonna hold this stomping ground for now. And I'm not going to attack. We can do 32 damage pretty easily. Opponent didn't do anything. I feel like we have a good death grip over this game. It's just a matter of finding the last pieces. And I'm pretty sure we have enough damage overall. Deputy of Detention. I 
It's Jace. That's fine. Alright, uh, end step. We'll go ahead and bolt. Get our Jace back. Let's go ahead and use... Actually, I believe I can draw first. So let's draw first, then use. Actually, we can use Steve here. Well, we can search for tomorrow. We'll go get a forest. We'll play Steve out. And I think we'll just hold here because I have the cryptic as well. We've shuffled again. Trying to get that scape shift. That's what we need. That's all we need. We're probably going to look for it with Azkanta here. Two drop. Coming in. Coming in hot. Medley mage. Well, we have a way to get rid of that. And we have a Jace to balance it. So I'm not worried about medley mage. Names Anger the Gods. They knew we had that. Let's go digging. We'll take a cryptic. Any order. Another bolt. Let's keep looking. There it is. Search and a cryptic can go. We'll play the Misty. Time to float some mana. Making that blue mana. Let's go ahead and scape shift. Pretty sure we have enough to do this. Scape shift away. Got it. Whew. Got it there. Thank goodness. There you go. Taking down humans. Salvaging the league a little bit. Two, three. Whew. We'll see you guys in the conclusion. Teamer, rug, scape shift. Him modern. An old favorite of ours. The way that we got introduced into modern. One of the first decks that I picked up and played competitively. So I have a sweet spot for it. This one was interesting. It uses cards and I wanted to use a 5-0 list, not one of my own that was more recent, uh, just to give it a shot, see what's going on out in the meta, see how people are playing the team or scape shift stuff. Uh, not doing the bring the light. I do like the bring the light versions and not doing anything with just primeval Titan. The list is in front of us. What do we think? It's decent. It doesn't run 11 mountains, it runs the 10 mountain package. That can be very difficult when you're trying to count up those mountains. And it only has the two Valakuts, which makes you susceptible to things like a Fulminator Mage if you draw it, or you could run into other issues with not having both of them available. Cards in general are pretty decent. I think I miss Snapcaster Mage the most out of this set. But I do see where Ice Fang has done a reasonable job. Is it a replacement? I can't say. This list did go 5-0, so that was pretty good for the person that piloted that. For my efforts, we were really seeming to struggle against our opponents. And we played against Hogak, uh, Urza Grixis, uh, this kind of Bant Hex Drinker thing, Jund, and Humans. I like it. You have Jace. You're trying out Narset. A lot of scape shifts. You have to play all four when you have this because you're not getting to do the Primeval Titan side to it as well. Sideboard actually seems fairly good, although I'm very confused when I would bring in Weather the Storm um, versus the Urza Grixis one. They don't play too many spells. I'm guessing this is for like a Phoenix, maybe Hogak. Maybe a Storm or Burn player, and we just didn't run into those in our league. But, eh, could be something. Again, the Kiora, I also don't really know where to bring that in. I think we brought in just about everything else, though, for at least some league. Teamer, Scape Shift. One of the 10 decks in the Tricolor Challenge that we're doing. So, if you're joining yourself, 
follow, subscribe, find out when we go ahead and post the other decks, and we'll see you guys next time. See you in the next video. Take care of yourselves.